I've got a nine in GCC geography and I got all nines in GCCs. This is the channel that you want to be at during your exam season. So make sure you subscribe. Today, we're talking about GCC geography and what to do before your paper one. Now, for me, geography was a really nice subject. Okay, I actually liked it quite a lot. Uh, I think it's quite enjoyable. And I think compared to something like history, it's a comparatively easy subject. Okay, so let's get straight into this then with point number one. And that is, we're going to talk about the content first and then the kind of exam tips. Number one, case studies. Make sure you just really know these. These are actually quite nice because there's not that much to know. You need like a good 10 stats per case study. Okay, just have them in the back of your head. And that's really, really going to help you. Now, all of my quizzes at Flashcards for Geography, I'm going to just put free in the description so check them out in terms of case study but you can still learn some facts between now and your exam about your case studies you don't have to include your case studies in like you can include them in other questions as well so say you've studied typhoon haiyan okay for like a tropical storm and you get a question that says evaluate the importance of evacuation in natural disasters you can bring that stats in there the fact that 800,000 people were evacuated okay so Think about, you don't just have to use like your case studies in that. Also, with questions, you can use your random knowledge, like heat waves that you know about or flooding in your local area, that type of thing. You can use that if need be, okay? So really, really learn the case studies because they're worth quite a lot of marks and you can drop them in other stuff as well. So have a very, very good knowledge of that and make sure you're learning them, okay? Also, all case studies, okay? Not just like the main ones. There's often things that go unnoticed, like Epping Forest was my case study. You have to know like random ecosystems. It's worth just having a look at them, okay? Just in case they come up. Right. Next thing's next is the best piece of advice I have for GC Geography. Now I'm going to use the board here just to illustrate this a little bit. And it is that. CATS. Okay, I know that's a bit slanted, my bad. But CATS stands for. Consequently, as a result, this means that, therefore, and subject specific knowledge. Now, this is a gold mine for geography. Trust me, my geography teacher told it to me, so shout out to him. And it's the best piece of advice, the best single piece of advice any teacher's ever given me. It works like this. You just use this in your six mark and nine markers. Each paragraph should have those in it. Okay, let me give you an example. Let's say we've got a question about adaptations for plants in the rainforest. Okay, or actually let's go for plant animal adaptations in the desert, for example. Okay, here's how a paragraph would work using cats. Camels are adapted to the rainforest in multiple ways. One reason is that they have humps which store fat. Consequently, camels can go a long time without food. As a result, they're adapted to the harsh conditions of a desert, which is often barren and limited for food. This means that camels are adapted effectively to a desert and you could use therefore as well to link it back to the question. That's the type of example of how it works off the top of my head, okay? You, the way it works, the way it's so good is because it just really forces you to like analyze. You keep going through that chain of analysis, okay? So you can do that with other features, okay? You don't have to do more than one. But if you don't use it in a chain like that, use those words in your writing, okay? Caps, it's really, really useful. I'd Strongly recommend that, okay? In your six and nine markers, each paragraph of mine had the cats. That's how I plan them. I plan them with that little cat's chain, I call it. So get in that cat's chain, start with a point and then keep analyzing, keep going a little bit further. That's what got me that nine in geography. It was really, really helpful and made me get like, I almost always got full marks on those long questions. Okay, past papers. Look through some past papers. You don't have to do them last minute, but go get some and look through them. Look through questions. I'll put a link in the description if it's still up. I think about gone down the website, but challenge grids. This woman called, I think, I can't even remember her name. She did challenge grids and they're so good. Look at these grids, write a couple questions. For geography, a question doesn't take long to write. That's why I love it, okay? Now, let's talk about exam tips. Number one, timings. Geography is an like, underratedly difficult exam with timings. Don't let it catch you out. There's much more than you think of six markers, nine markers. You've got to be very quick. Pace yourself, be ruthless. Know how long you have for the six markers. Know how long you have for the nine markers. Please don't get caught out with the timings. Make sure you know how long you have for each section and all of that stuff, okay? I really don't want you to like, yeah, lose marks in terms of that. I'm going to remind you, just, just because in the exam, nerves and all that stuff, you might get it wrong. Section, the section of the papers, okay? Don't like do your section, okay? Know your section and don't write anything you don't need to. So don't write about like icebergs when you, you're on the other section, okay? Just, just a reminder. And finally, what I call the nuclear option is to make up stats, okay? Don't, don't uh, catch me recommending that. But if you're really, really stuck in an exam and you think you have a stat in the back of your head, you can kind of make it up, okay? Your stats are going to be like crazy, crazy accurate. The high chances in the exam is not going to like check it. Now, I only recommend this if you truly don't know a stat, okay? If you do, do that. Don't make up something ridiculous. But for example, you could possibly make up something, okay? 
So just have that in the back of your head as what I call the nuclear option, okay? If it means you won't write anything or you make up something and write something, I'd rather you wrote something, okay? Don't leave questions blank. Don't forget, like sometimes you can find questions like hidden. So make sure you're reading everything carefully. A lot of it is maths as well. Make sure you're quite competent on like mean, median, range, measuring something, that type of thing. And make a lot of educated guesses. That's the nice thing about geography. Often you kind of know a bit of like background information. Make educated guesses. I hope that video was helpful. I'm going to be here doing this for all sorts of subjects, start exam season, giving you my best advice. You can join me every night, half hour call I'm doing called The Final Push. Link in the description to check out the schedule for that. But geography is going to be fine, yeah? So I'd learn some content, think about that exam technique, look at some past questions, see how you'd answer it. Focus on things you don't quite understand yet and use the catch chain. Use that catch chain in your vision, okay? That's super, super useful. That's how you actually use the facts and stuff with your case studies. Now, as I said, I've linked it completely for free my case studies so yeah go check that out please leave a like please subscribe please share the video let's hit 20k before the end of exam season 25k even okay thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one